Hi, it's Janie, Early Learning Specialist at the Renolda House. And this month, I am so excited to talk to you about silly animals. We have some really fun stories, a nursery rhyme, and even a song. Let's get started. Hey Diddle Diddle is a traditional nursery rhyme in the English language that children have heard for over 200 years. It is very likely that the Reynolds children learned it when they were younger. When I look at this picture, I see some animals doing some silly things. Do you see it? Do you see the cat and the fiddle? Do you see the cow that jumped over the moon? And do you see the little dog that laughed? Let's read this nursery rhyme together. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Can you say this with me this time? All right, let's start. One, two, three, go. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Now we're gonna read, Animals Should Definitely Not Act Like People. Written by Judy Barrett and illustrated by Ron Barrett. Animals should definitely not act like people because it would be preposterous for a panda because a worm would be worn out. Look at that worm trying to lift weights. Because it would be outrageous for an octopus to play outfield. Look at all those baseball mitts on his tentacles. That would be so silly. because it would be foolish for a fish. Because a hippopotamus would have to have a heap of help. That means a lot of help. Oh my, the hippopotamus looks like he's in a little bit of trouble. Animals should definitely not act like people because it would not pay for a pigeon. Because a fly would find his furniture falling. Look at that, the fly is on the ceiling and all of his furniture is falling. Because it would be dreadfully dull for a dog because a giraffe would gasp when she glanced to the ground. What is that giraffe doing? Painting the house? That's silly. A giraffe can't do that. Animals should definitely not act like people because it would be troublesome to a turtle in a thunder shower. Uh-oh. Look at him trying to hold on to that umbrella. Because it would be so silly for a sheep. Because an ostrich would look odd. Animals should definitely not act like people. Because a ladybug would have a large load to lift. And most of all, because we wouldn't like it. 
Wow. Animals definitely should not act like people. That would be so silly. Can you imagine? Oh, I enjoyed reading that story for you. Now, let's listen to a song by Miss Cynthia. I had a big frog. His name was Jumbo Jim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And then he burped last night from a bubble in his throat. Excuse me. I had a little frog. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And then he burped last night from a bubble in his throat. Excuse me. That song was so much fun. I had so much fun singing it with you. We have one story left. Let's go ahead and read it together. There's an alligator under my bed. There's an alligator under my bed. It's written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. There used to be an alligator under my bed. When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful because I knew he was there. But whenever I looked, he hid or something. So I call mom and dad, but they never saw it. It was just up to me. I just had to do something about that alligator. So I went to the kitchen to get some alligator bait. I filled a paper bag full of things alligators like to eat. I put a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. I put cookies down the hall. I left fresh vegetables on the stairs. I put a soda and some candy next to my bed. Then I watched and waited. Sure enough, out he came to get something to eat. Then I hid in the hall closet. I followed him down the stairs. I followed him down the hall. When he crawled into the garage, I slammed the door and locked it. Then I went to bed. There wasn't even any mess to clean up. Now that there's an alligator in the garage, I wonder if my dad will have any trouble getting in his car tomorrow morning. I'll just leave him a note. The note reads, Dear Dad, there is an alligator in the garage. If you need help, Wake me up. Warning, be careful. Oh my, that poor dad. Do you think he was able to get in his car? Whew, I don't know. But my son, he tries to convince me that there's a T-Rex in our house. I haven't seen him yet. But what I have seen is something very silly that he made. He got the idea from one of Miss Julia's pop-up studio videos. He tore small pieces of green paper and glued it to a T-Rex outline. 
he decided he wanted to make a silly T-Rex. So he created a skateboard for his T-Rex to ride. Every time I see this, it makes me smile because it's silly. And it reminds me of the silly animal stories we read today. I hope you will watch Miss Julia's video and create your own silly animal. You will have so much fun doing this. Thank you.